Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Welcome to my show. With uh, COVID-19 still ravaging the, the world, never before have we been so focused on our own immune systems. And to talk about that with us, uh, Dr. Lori, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. I'm really happy to be here. Absolutely. You. And you're with uh, Natural Quantum, Quantum Wellness from yes. Granbury. Yes, but absolutely. Th thank you for making the trip. So let's talk about our immune system. Uh, People don't really appreciate how when you're getting run down or if you have stress or you're not eating well or drinking too much, you can really wear down your body's ability to fight off disease. Absolutely, Jeff. Yeah, and in fact, this is actually, the during the COVID time, is actually a really good time to take an assessment of where we're at in our health. Because as you know, over 50% of our kids now have chronic issues with health. And that's asthma, that's, um, of course, autism, and it's um, childhood diabetes, which has been unheard of, and um, also childhood cancers. You know, when I was a kid, we had one person that had leukemia, that was it. But we never heard about any of these other things. And so we all need to look at that, and, our, and, our, and us as adults, we're getting, you know, all different types of autoimmune issues right now because there's so many toxins that are in our world right now, including the viruses, and they're saying, I just watched a Candida um, summit recently, and what the doctor said on it was that we take in 250 pounds of toxins every single day. Wow. wow. And our children are born with 100, around 180 chemicals in their body when they're born. So we always suggest to go ahead and do a detox first, and mothers are not being told this. You need to detox your body, they say, for at least six months to a year, then have your child. And then your breast milk will be healthy, and it also is a great immune builder for children. And there's some theory that all of us have probably had a, a, a little touch of uh, exposure to the virus, but some people get sick and die, and other people just fight it off. Right. In fact, you say that you think you might have had a touch of it. Yes, actually. I was on a cruise in January. I was all excited because it was an international marketers cruise to meet all kinds of international people in the marketing field. And I brought my machine with me, which is my wellness pro. And um, as I was going through the week, I was sitting down with another naturopath and she was saying, have you noticed people are starting to cough on this ship? And it was a dry cough. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's interesting. And then as a naturopath, we both came to the conclusion that we thought, you know, maybe it's the mold because you're by the water all the time, you know. And then what I learned later, too, is that those air conditioning systems cannot filter any kind of wow. virus through them. So people got sick. And um, I literally got off the ship. I was completely down. I couldn't even walk. I was getting the dry cough and the sore throat. And it... As soon as I got home, I went ahead and my girlfriend brought over my infrared sauna, which is known to, if you raise your core temperatures, it kills viruses. And that's a testimonial for many doctors that have made that. And so I got on my sauna right away because I couldn't even get it to my sheen to, to coat it. So I got in there, and literally that next day, I had to go to the office and move wow. to a new office. Well, t t tell us about this machine. What does it do? What this is, this is actually an FDA cleared medical device. So MD Anderson has it in a lot of their hospitals. And it literally will help you. It's a TENS unit, okay, mm -hmm. but it's so much more than that. And what it does is it actually will help you to reduce and eliminate pain and inflammation. 
and everything is inflammation. You know, doctors treat the pain as a symptom and what they need to be treating, and this is what the integrated doctors are now finding out. We're energy beings. Right. Okay, so if we start looking at us as energy, if we raise our energy in our body and open up the endorphins in our brain, that's what helps the body to heal itself. So this actually detoxes you, and it helps get rid of pain and inflammation. Wow. That's a great story. I, I want to take some uh, pictures from uh, your wellness uh, uh, facility in Granbury because it's really, really uh, beautiful the way that you've um, laid it out. Tell us more you. about your, your approach and your philosophy when, when uh, patients or clients come to you. Um, how do you, mind, body, spirit, do you do, you do an evaluation? Yes, I do an evaluation. I actually do what we call a Zyto scan. Mm -hmm. And what the Zyto scan does is you put your hand on a scanner and it actually reads your body energetically and doctors are now using it. And they're even saying, some are saying that it's more accurate because it can tell you what kind of viruses you have, bacterials, if you have any autoimmune issues like Lyme that we can address. Um, and it also shows biological agents, which is shocking to me. I'm starting to see that on people's screens now, like anthrax. Um, and so um, we can actually clear it out with energy as well as doing homeopathics yes. to take care of that. And I know your field is really growing as more people become skeptical of traditional medicine or doctors whose first response is to whip out the prescription pad. Uh, when you see people for the first time, uh, they may be taking a lethal cocktail of pills, right? Yeah, I mean, we know that doctors are doing the best they can with what their training is, but we also know that they don't talk to the other doctors to see if those meds work together. And then they also have heavy metals in them sometimes, and the buildup is not good on the organs. Yes. And so we would like to work with the doctors, you know, and integrate with them. And there's a lot of great integrated doctors out there, like Dr. Putar now, who is with Robert Kennedy, you mm -hmm. know, and they're educating people now to this. And Del Big Tree is another one of my favorites, and he's educating people now to how we need to start integrating everything together so that the naturopaths can work with the doctors and refer each other back and forth when we need to. How did you get started in this, Dr. Lori? I got started in this when I was actually married, and I had a young child, and I had some friends over, and I was cutting up some vegetables. And as I was cutting up the vegetables, I cut my finger. It started bleeding profusely. And my girlfriend says, well, I can help you with that. And I'm like, really? How are you going to do that? I go, she goes, I go, do you have a Band-Aid? And she says, no. She says, here. And she grabbed my hand, and she put her hand over it like that. And it was bleeding pretty fast. And then she goes like that, and it stopped. Wow. And I was like, oh, my God, I need to learn how to do this. And so I actually went to the university and took a class in Arlington, because she said, you can go to college, actually, and take a, a class there. And I was hooked after that. Wow. It's like I want to be able to help my family. You know, I can put my hand on my leg now, and I can literally take away a charley horse just from our own energy. We actually have that ability. And that's what I want to do is empower people yes. to take care of their health wow. and show them and educate them what they can do so that they can feel safe and secure and know that even if they do get a bad virus, we can take care of it. So we're almost out of time for this segment. So give people, um, obviously, they, they need to come visit you. But uh, in terms of, like, food that they should be eating and foods to avoid if they want to uh, boost their immune system. Okay. Thank you for asking that question because that's important. Um, because there are so many chemicals and pesticides in our foods now, like glyphosate um, is, is known to be a neurotoxin, is what we need to do is we need to start doing organic food. That is actually what we need to do, and we need to do things all the way from the seed stage, because a lot of people think, well, I can take a watermelon. Well, no, because they spray it at the seed stage. So you want to do your organic watermelons, which is great for your kidneys. You want to do garlic, which is antibacterial, antiviral. A lot of times I'll just take a couple of cloves and either put it in my cooking or I'll just I'll eat on it myself if it's pickled. Um, any fermented foods is great because it's probiotics. Along with taking a regular probiotic, that's really good to, to do as well. And, of course, you want to get your vitamin D to go out in the sun, yes. which is really, really important, too. Foods to avoid. Foods uh, to avoid. Uh, foods to avoid would be sugars. You do want to eliminate your sugars. You want to use substitutes, like stevia is really good. Um, some people believe in coconut sugar is good as well. 
and also you want to eliminate any saturated fats, okay? So that would be like your um, soy oil, well, canola oil, for example. Yes. And um, you also want to get rid of processed foods, of course, and eat everything that is organic, natural, fresh produce. I love juicing, and I love making smoothies. So if you're... High like high, high, <laughs> high antioxidant berries. So Sorry. those people who are, like, stress eating during this pandemic, and they're going out and getting fast food and uh, just all that stuff that's bad for you, they're really... Uh, they couldn't pick a worse time to hurt their body. Right, because you need your body to be strong in order to survive this. Absolutely, and what I'm finding is I'm actually finding the opposite. I'm finding people are now looking at their health. When they start coming to me, they're like, they're really educated. I'm really amazed how many people are starting to get educated, and that's what we got to do. I mean, it's okay once in a while to go to a fast food, um, but generally make it a treat. That's it. Yeah. You know, don't go every day. And then just start doing things. There's some great things, like there's some Chinese places that are really good, yeah. you know, that are fast, that you can go through. And there's vegan places now that you can go through that are also fast food places. Dr. So that's Lee, what I would recommend. You've been a great guest. We're going to put your website up Thank and you. uh, give everybody the domain. It's uh, natural naturalquantumwellness.com or nqw.life. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. We're going to have to have you back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, you very much for having me. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Thank you.